What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the third beta of iOS 26 to developers, and in this video I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We got a lot to talk about, no more yapping, let's get started. Alright, so for me, it came in at 2.76 gigabytes on my iPhone 14 Pro. It seems to be different for everyone for whatever reason, but hopefully that's just a bug and that it will be fixed in the future. Alright, what is new here inside of beta 3? So the first one you'll notice right off the bat is that we got new variants for the iOS 26 wallpaper. So if I were to go inside of the lock screen editor and go to customize, you're going to notice right here that we got this one that is called shadow. This one is the default one called sky, the one we had before. We got halo and we also got dusk. So my personal favorite here is the shadow one. So they're going to keep that one for now. I just like the dark blue and the purple right there but this just looks really nice right here. Let me know what your favorite variants of these wallpapers are in the comments down below, and let's move on to the next change. All right, the next change has to do with the clock right here. So you're gonna notice as soon as it changes to 449, you're gonna see a brand new animation in about five, four, three, two, one, You'll see that we got that brand new animation right there where it just like fades the old number out. I think that's a lot better than it was before where it would just change the number. This is something we had in macOS since beta 1 of Tahoe, but it has now been brought over to iOS and I think it is very nice that we finally have this change inside of iOS 26. Now something else you may notice right off the bat is that liquid glass has been heavily nerfed. So you'll notice even right here in Spotlight that it's now more of a frosted glass. So I don't know why Apple went back to frosted glass, but I guess it, people didn't like liquid glass that much. You also see it's a lot more prominent here inside of the music app. So here it is right here. I mean, there still is the liquid part right there. And then if you were to tap it, it just still does the liquid transition. But for whatever reason, Apple just decided that liquid glass isn't what's the future anymore. They just decided to revert it back. I mean, we still got this tab bar and we got the tab bar toast right there. But other than that, it's been reverted right here for whatever reason. The next change has to do with the clock app. So if you were to go inside the clock app, start a timer and turn your phone off, you're gonna see that the buttons right here are a lot bigger. So the buttons here are bigger and they're a lot easier to press. So before they used to be a little bit smaller, but now they're just, but now they're just ever so slightly bigger, which is, I guess, pretty nice to see. Now the next change has to do with the Maps app. You're gonna notice right here that we got a couple brand new changes right here. The first one is that we got some natural text. I'm gonna do awesome malls in Broomfield. And you're gonna see right here that you're gonna see all the malls that are inside of Broomfield. But I'm not gonna do any of those since I, it didn't come up with the one I wanted. I'm just gonna type in the mall that I'm gonna be showing off next, which is Flatirons Crossing right here. And the first thing that you're gonna see is that things have been redesigned here a bit. So the first one you're gonna see, of course, liquid glass. You're gonna see that the button right here has been completely changed. So before this would be a direction button. Now it shows a car with 13 minutes, kind of like what I did before. And you're gonna see that it does what you expect and you can change it to whatever you want. I'm not going to because it will leak my location. But this overall just makes the Maps app a lot better. The next thing you will notice right here is that inside the Maps app, you're gonna see that the glyph icons have changed for the root options. So they no longer have a background. And you also got a couple of brand new options right here. We have Share ETA right here. That's a brand new option right here. You also notice that the arrival time has moved to the top. And it just shows a lot more details than it did before, which I think looks a lot nicer. Also, no longer has a heading of root options. I guess people would know that this is root options. But overall, this is very nice to see that Apple has been constantly adjusting this to make it a lot better. You're also going to notice right here that hours and details have both been updated right here. So before, this would just be in a box and you need to expand a lot of this information. But now it just seems a lot more organized and a lot more detailed than it was before. Now, personally, I think Apple should add the boxes app but keep it looking like this. That's just my personal opinion, but hopefully Apple will continue to adjust this to make this better before iOS 26 releases to everyone. Now, the next couple of changes has to do with Safari. So if you were to go inside of Safari right here and then go into three dots and then go into bookmarks, you're gonna see a couple of changes right here. The first one has to do with the three dots right here. So before this would have the circle around it, 
Now it doesn't have the circle around it, which makes a lot more sense with iOS 26. You're also gonna notice that the icons right here, the bookmark icons now have a little background behind it. I have no idea why they added the background, but hopefully they revert that back. Now, personally, I don't know how to feel about it. It looks good, but it also looks bad at the same time, if you know what I mean. But hopefully Apple adjusts it in the near future. The next change has to do with the mail app. So you're gonna notice right here that the category has been put up right here under where it says inbox. And the next thing is that if you were to go look at the category colors, you'll see that the green over here already looks slightly different. But if we were to go into our about categories, you're gonna see that the colors just been adjusted a little bit. I have no idea why they adjusted it. Personally, I think the old ones were better, but we'll have to wait and see if they revert it back or not. Now, the next thing is that if you were to go to the camera settings right here and scroll down on phones with lens cleaning, lens cleaning would be swapped with messages. That's what happened here. Lens cleaning now has its own section. So if I don't have an iPhone 14 Pro. I don't know for sure which iPhone lens cleaning is on, but that's something to keep in mind here that they just swapped it. So if you're looking for the setting, just look where messages was if you were to want to turn on or off lens cleaning again. Now the next one has to do with the files app. So if you were to take a look at the files app right here, it's ever so slightly different. It's not a big difference, not noticeable by eye, but if you were to compare it to beta two, it is a lot different. Not a lot different, but you know what I mean. Now the next change has to do with the dock. So if you were to move an icon off the dock, they're now centered again. So for whatever reason, they were left aligned before, now they're centered inside of beta three again, which I think is a lot better than just having it on the left, Personally, if they were on the right, I think I would be a lot better. Since your thumb is right here, unless you're left-handed, then it, they would be there. But it's nice to see that Apple has centered them once has. again. Now the next change has to do with screenshots. So before, if you were to take a screenshot, it would immediately go inside of this menu. Now it does not go inside of this menu anymore. Now what it does is that if you take a screenshot, it goes into this corner and then just swipes away into the Photos app like it did in iOS 18 but now it has been reverted back. So you can now do this if you wanted to really badly. Now the next change has to do with Apple News. So if you were to look for a recipe inside of Apple News, I still have no idea why they put it. You'll see that add to grocery list in reminders. That is a brand new option here. We're able to add all of the ingredients inside of here, which is extremely nice to see that Apple has added the ability to add ingredients with just one tap inside of a grocery list inside of reminders. Anyways, that's everything new here that I and many others can find inside of beta three. Now, how is performance here inside of this latest beta? So I did run a Geekbench test right here. And as you can see right here, if I go to the history, you got a 2647 on the single core and a 6726 on the multi-core. So if we were to compare it to the previous beta, you'll see that it is just slightly lower than beta two, but a little bit higher than beta one, which I guess is pretty nice to see that Apple is, gave us a bunch of features, but at the same time, they had to nerf performance, but hopefully fix it with the next beta. Now, speaking of the next beta, what is next for Apple? I just placed a Willy widget right here so we can determine what's next. So today is the 7th of July. I think what is next is gonna happen is the public beta, the one that anybody can install on their device if they want to on the 14th right here. So this means that there will still be bugs, but it will be in a much stable state. I think Apple's gonna re-release it first before they have the public beta, but that's just something to keep in mind. And then after that, I think we're gonna go to a one week cycle once beta four comes out, and that's something nice to see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Come on, subscribe, share it with your friends, download my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.